Hello, in this video I will present what's new in a new release of simulation toolkit in 2021X. And this presentation will be done by product manager Nerius Sinkevichus. I will just go quickly through what he will show. And as you can see here, there is ton of what to see in simulation. Really, you can find all these features with the samples here, but this is really a huge uh, list of the capabilities, uh, including streaming, including uh, IBD as a dashboard uh, and uh, other capabilities. So let's go to the quick uh, overview by product manager. Hello, I'm Nerius Yankavichus, Katia No Magic product manager for SysML and simulation tools portfolio. In this presentation, I will try to overview what new and exciting simulation features we are introducing this year. Let me start from the picture showing multiple different workflows uh, between SysML system model and two popular simulation environments, which is MATLAB Simulink and Daimola. The SysML at the top represents abstract system model definition, including subsystems and components, interfaces and connections between them, also allocation of some constraints and requirements, and, and possibly some initial behavior definition. But at some point, you would like to stop modeling this in SysML and move to more specific uh, simulation environments. Uh, for, for control part is typically simulating for the uh, physical plant model is a modelic environment. So in, in the past, it was a expensive and manual work to translate those uh, descriptive SysML models uh, into uh, different environments. But with the recently developed OMG SysVis standard, we have a full SysML concept mappings in, into those platforms. And we were able to implement automatic translation um, of those models. In this slide, you can see an example of SysML to Simulink transformation. At the top, you see the SysML model decomposed into some uh, subsystems or components connected together. And with the one-click transformation, we can get a Simulink block diagram um, uh, with the same the graphical layout. And uh, if you click on those components, you can deep dive into uh, more uh, nested IBD diagrams or, or block diagrams and so on. If you had some behavior implemented in using a SysML parametric diagram, that would be transformed into S functions. If you had state machines, that would become a, a state flow models and diagrams. In this slide, you, you can see exactly the same SysML model translated into Modelka language. That includes full structural decomposition, uh, definition of interfaces and connectors, uh, parametric equations, and also Daimler diagram annotations. In addition to SysML model export, we are introducing Modelica library import. Modelica is famous for a large number of open source libraries for different domains. And now you can take your domain library and import into SysML by creating a, a large number of black box definition of domain specific components. And if you use those components in your system or subsystem definitions and assemblies in SysML model and later translate them into Modelica, instead of creating new Modelica blocks, we would automatically reference to the library elements. For even better SysML and Modelica connection, we are introducing an API-based Daimola integration. It is part of Simulation Toolkit, and you can go to Tools, Integration menu, and when integrated, a Daimola Modelica script is plugged as an action language. So you can use it in activity diagrams, and in this example, you can see how external Modelica model can be co-simulated together with SysML by passing inputs from SysML and reading results back to SysML execution. 
We also had to upgrade our Simulink file import capability as Simulink file format was recently changed. That also means that all our users who move to the newest Simulink version have to upgrade the Simul tool to be able to import those files. Um, additionally, we are introducing new uh, Simulink import into activity diagrams. So you can simply drag and drop Simulink file and it would create an activity with input and output parameters. If Simulink and Modelica integrations is not enough, we allow users to uh, use the full power of Simulia Process Composer. For those who don't know, Simulia Process Composer, which uh, image you see on the left, is a native uh, platform tool uh, which allows uh, you to integrate dozens of engineering tools and also uh, access uh, any local and platform data sources. You can use a visual activity like diagram to define uh, how you pass uh, data uh, between tools to, to create your simulation scenario and uh, you can parameterize and share those uh, as uh, a simulation templates on the platform which we allow to search and drag and drop into your sysml models so while doing this we uh, automatically extract input and output parameters and, and those blocks then can be used in parametric or activity diagrams where you can connect them together or uh, uh, con connect any other uh, inputs from the sysml model and pass outputs to any other behavior in your model. So if you have simulation toolkit, you can click run and we would automatically call a platform services to, to uh, run those external executions on the platform and then they finish, they, the, the results automatically go back into your SysML model execution. Another big direction under development is our efforts to decouple SysML model execution code from standalone MagicDraw application and make it reusable on any UML SysML data source. As a result, we already have an initial alpha version of the small app which is capable to run SysML models directly on the Timber Cloud. The server-side simulation is invoked using a newly developed REST API and can be easily integrated into multiple environments. We decided to use Cameo Collaborator as a, the first client of, of this API and by adding simulation function into web reports making them interactive so here you can see an example of instance table where you can change uh, sysml property values click run and get results back into that table and also uh, with the annotations showing if requirement is, is not satisfied so this is available on demand if you have uh, 2021x version server installed. Uh, we're still developing this capability and planning to have a final product with 2022 release. Moving back to the client side simulation, I would like to mention a huge set of diagram animation improvements in a Cameo simulation toolkit version 2021x. So if you look at the, on the right, this is an example of IBD diagram showing a lot of additional information on block symbols. So now you can see and edit a runtime values directly without using variables panel. You can see active state name and symbol on the block. You can even click and inject some signals and trigger transitions directly from the IBD. If small state icon is not enough, we also have a new capability of assigning images to the states. So when states are changing, it can be shown as a full image on the diagram by creating moving pictures and animations.
if moving pictures is not enough, we are proud to introduce widgets. This new framework allows you to use customizable and interactive HTML components embedded directly into your diagrams or bigger uh, user interface mockups. It comes with some predefined set of basic widgets in the library and we also have some user guide how to create your own custom widget. To finalize my presentation, I would like to repeat our main focus areas for this year, which is server-side simulation and REST API, SysML Modelica synchronization, integration with Simulia tools, and of course, quality, scalability, and performance improvements. Thank you.